All right, people, welcome back. More d and commentary. So we are joined by Alexis. Hey, everybody. So, uh, Alexis, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Happy to be here, and congratulations on getting your new um, headset or microphone or whatever it was you got. Oh, it was both. <laughs> I, need, okay, I, need, I need a new headset, and uh, but with the mic breaking, I was like, all right, screw it. We'll go ahead and get both. <laughs> but, well, I guess then congratulations on on the uh, new on the new gear. Yep, also, it looks like we're fighting. Looks like Cosmo is fighting what I'm going to assume is either a bad BA deck or a speed ride deck. Yeah, I mean, throwing in Ghost Ogre, Emergency Teleport, I guess. Ghost Ogre? I was like, alright. Actually, it could it. also be Super Quantum. Super Quantum sometimes runs a uh, Snow Rabbit. <laughs> Wait, doesn't doesn't Monarch Extra Deck run a Snow Rabbit for that combo that Patrick Hoban uses? Yeah, I think so. so it might be Extra Deck Monarchs. Yeah, actually, I nope, take that nope, back. Nope. Phantom Knights. <laughs> oh, it's Phantom Knights. I'm honestly a little bit surprised at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the MST, so that's not going to stick. Yep. Uh, we got Plaritus at uh, 1406 playing Cosmos, and I guess Sky at 1484 playing uh, uh, PK, I'm not sure, PK Fire, Phantom Knights, or whatever. But, uh, He's playing this thing, but I also, did he just... Okay, then, I'm... Okay, so you're going to... Uh, Strawman can tap... Uh, Tag, uh, chain to itself. So he's going to activate Straw Man to uh, get the Dark Destroyer back with the Fact Negated and uh, Straw Man Chain to hop out of the way at the same time. Also, have you noticed that both players have gone extremely minus considering the decks that they're playing? Mm hmm. Extremely minus. Like, Sky, you're hurting on resources now. <laughs> like, I've never seen uh, PK Fire lose so many resources in one turn. Mm hmm. Also, he does know he can't use the org because it's a once per turn effect. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't realize that. Good thing his opponent is on top of it. Mm hmm. Because the org is only, uh, goes over somewhere if it's only once per turn, because that would be nice to go ahead and get rid of that, uh, that tin can, but I don't think so. So, tin can just Oh, he got the forerunner. Mm. Well, I guess it's better forerunner than Dark Destroyer or Dark Lady. Really depends on what that set card is. For all we know, it's a Call of the Haunted, and the Call of the Haunted Dark Lady or a Call of the Haunted uh, Dark Destroyer could really do damage as well. I think if it was Call of the Haunted, he would have activated it in the standby phase to have Dark Lady on the field. At least that's what I would have done. If Then again, I honestly wasn't paying attention. What did he send to the graveyard? Forerunner and Dark Lady, and what else? Uh, Forerunner, Dark Lady, and uh, Dark Destroyer. Oh, okay. So actually, yeah, he might not. He might be waiting for the to see what his opponent is. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing what? the foolish of the uh, ancient cloak, ancient cloak banish against the rug, rugged gloves, normal summon rugged gloves, special summon boots. So uh, Sky's not out of this. He's got some trap cards in the graveyard. It looks like he might be able to make a break sword. I mean, of course, this is uh, TCG only, so we're not going to see any like you know. Dark Requiem or anything along those lines, but uh, it's cool that uh, Phantom Knight's got another play like that. So, yeah, it's the only issue is that it's not on DN right now, so even if this was the OCG pool, you can't use it anyway. Ooh, Synchro Summon into a powerful Trish. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep, so respond now, forever hold your peace, because... Uh... <laughs> oh, he's not going to respond, so he's probably going to snipe the Dark Destroyer in Graveyard, probably yeah. going to hit the uh, Slip Rider, and then he's going to try to banish... Hopefully a warship from his opponent's hand. That'd be pretty powerful. And, it's... and he hits the one for one, so that means Tin Can can banish itself to special summon the Forerunner, yep. who is sadly stronger than Trish. Yep, so it was a nice try, I'll give you that. It was it was a nice effort. You had a 50-50 chance and you didn't get it, so. He had a 50-50 chance to win. Uh, he didn't win the, the dice roll, so now he's a little bit... Well, actually, he could still make a break story because he has two different... Trap cards in his graveyard. True, true. So that'll summon, banish, summon, make a break. Sword. Issue, yeah, the only issue is that the forerunner can come out, and even though break sword can run over it, the forerunner is just going to float into like a, another tin can or a straw man, depending on what his opponent wants to do. Mm -hmm. So there's no easy way out of this. No, there really isn't. That's not even considering what that set card is. And so for all we know, it could be the call of the hunted. I'm wagering it's probably Cosmojo because every time my opponent sets one and 
Cosmo, it tends to be Cosmo Joe. At least that's with my luck, anyway. Oh, wait, it was a call to haunt it. Your bell, you can predict the future, <laughs> I swear, this upon the world. Alright, so, I'm assuming that's to respond to the summon of, uh, Breaksword, before Breaksword can resolve its effect. Uh, probably. Then, so, Breaksword's just going <laughs> to attack over the, the Dark Lady. God damn! Dark Lady, what? you're much more expensive than I thought you would be. Isn't she like uh, 50 bucks right now? 30 plus. Uh, I guess she is oh. secret rare and really good, so. Yeah, I'm actually running two of her in my con deck right now. I might bump her up to three just because I just love having her in my hand. She gets, gets helps me get around uh, Rivalry of the Warlord. She's a really good card to call the Haunted against certain decks. And she's 2200, so it's not exactly easy to just run her over. Mm -hmm. So we see uh, Tengen get. Uh, take the kill, and uh, Dark Lady is the one that's going to get banished, going to the Forerunner. Yeah, you can kill it, but, you know, we're possibly going to see Forerunner float down. Now, uh, Sky decided not to do that, because if you kill the Forerunner, for all you know, uh, you can, what, summon a, uh, a tin cannon and continue to do that. Well, Forerunner is not really too much of a threat right now. Actually, if he had floated down the tin cannon, it wouldn't have been too big of an issue. He could have used Break Sword to blow up the tin can while he had nothing in hand. And then he go to just succeed summoned into an evil swarm nightmare or into uh what was the other card that they run sometimes? Oh, yeah, it's true, true in main phase too. Yep, so. so yeah. I think it was probably wiser though not to take that risk because oh we actually drew into the tin can. I think this game is over. Yeah, Sky, you're you're running out of plays. The trap cards are getting banished, your break sword is nice and all, but so gonna three thousand doesn't get you much against against Cosmo. No, not with the powerful Dark Destroyer. Alright. Or? Walker... You know, Walker is actually a lot better than people seem to realize, because it's a continuous effect, so if you summon it even in the middle of a chain, it can protect your entire field from being hit by, like, Regeki or Black Rose or something like that while your opponent has, say, an Abyss Dweller on the field. Mm-hmm. I've actually done that a few times, where my opponent just goes to... Regeki me after resolving Abyss Dweller while I have like three or four ships on the field. I go ahead and banish one of my pilots to summon out Walker, blow up uh, whatever's the least valuable card on the field to me. And then they just look at their hand, look at my field, and just, they just cry. Mm -hmm. so, it's beautiful. Try to get that Cosmic Town lost it, but they got that Dark Destroyer. I think his opponent probably would have preferred his opponent to get the uh, Cosmo Town over Dark Destroyer right now. I mean, just have Nexus to that Dark Destroyer during your turn to Spot Pot. It's pretty powerful. That's a serious threat right now. This guy still has plays, but, you know, what are you going to do? That Call of the Hunts no. is attached to nothing. You can go Break Sword and, you know, target yourself, target that, uh, uh, Tin can. tin can that's just gonna dodge it immediately. Mm -hmm. The sad part is you can't even really go into Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon because it's just gonna, you know, not be able to target anything unless his opponent blows up his uh, Dark Destroyer or Forerunner with with Dark Destroyer and floats into something that he can actually target. So it would go Break Sword Effect is Chin Link One Dark. Destroyer's Chain Link 2, right? Yeah. Um, one sec, let me think. Dark Destroyer would be Chain Link... One sec. Actually, Dark Destroyer would, would be Chain Link 1, and the other one would be Chain Link 2. Because... Because, uh, Drake Star goes to the grave after the summon, because it's Chain Link 1. Okay. I guess he said no effect, which is fine, so... Gentlemen, are back is level 4, and I'm just trying to think of a... Rank 4 Dark that can handle this situation. I mean, going up by a thousand is nice, but... Well, he can handle the monsters, but they're just going to float down into something that's equally as bad, so it's like I don't think he has an out to this field. Mm -hmm. He could probably summon Evil Swarm Nightmare and maybe pray to his opponent. Okay, that's actually not half bad. If he has... Yeah, that's not bad. He has a 25... It's a 3500 beat stick that can potentially keep itself from getting its butt destroyed. <laughs> so, Master Key Beetle, 3500, uh, hopefully you've got something to detach to protect it. And... 
If he has Vanny, em Vanny's emptiness in his hand, he wins. Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Yeah, just set the Vanny's emptiness, activate the effect, target the Vanny's emptiness. Then when you're on your opponent's turn, when they go to attack you, just flip over the Vanities. Or if they're a smart person, they're not going to attack because they s suspect something in the background. Your just. Mother said, your mother said turn your voice down. Hmm? Your voice down. Oh, I'll go in my other room, sorry. Okay, <laughs> I, gotta get my, I gotta get my charger. I forget sometimes that I talk louder than I realize. By the way... The professionalism, people. <laughs> Look at the struggles that us YouTubers face sometimes. Like, what professionalism? I'm pretty sure I'm the least professional person in the entire, on all of YouTubing. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I one person that's more unprofessional. That's what I thought. No, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> hey, Dan, sorry to bother you, but I had to come in here. I, ow. Forget that my that my that my brother's cap he on this bed. Ugh. Anyway, uh, enough about my personal life. Let me know if you can think of somebody else. You're just you're just you're just new. You're just new. You got the Cantasia, you know how to use it better, so the professionalism is gonna go up. <laughs> At some point, yeah. Once I actually successfully make a video with the editing skills you showed me, then maybe I'll be a little ah. bit more professional. As my mom yells down the stairs right now. Well, not even down the stairs, just yells in general. Like, huh. I, I need to crank up my professional. I need to move out, and then I need to have a recording room and <laughs> plaster the walls with uh, some of that foam so <laughs> no background noise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just need to get out of the uh, out of this house. That's about the only thing I need to do. And what's he gonna tar? Okay, probably that farm girl that he just top decked. Oh no, he's gonna go ahead and target his uh his gloves. So he can't, gloves can't be selected as a tar target. Yeah, but he's just gonna summon Slip Rider now. Mm -hmm. So great. Dark Star crashes. Summon Slip Rider. Yep. Summon Slip Rider. Slip Rider pop the. Uh, Fog blade, and then allow that farm girl to get it in on the uh, on the rugged gloves. Rip! Oh, he's actually going to attack. Mm -hmm. That's that's interesting. I guess he's gonna. Well, what would he? What would he? Yeah, what would he special summon now? Okay, straw man. So he's acknowledging that he's not going to get the kill this turn. Mm-hmm. Then again, when you have this much card advantage, you don't need to necessarily kill your opponent. Nope, this guy just scoops it up. <laughs> this guy's like, I already well, know it's coming. He didn't really have much of a choice. I mean, his opponent had like 10 cards to his one monster. I wouldn't say 10 cards, but the resources were definitely in uh, player's favor. Hey, uh, Yubel, what do you think about the Cardian monsters? They're cute. They're interesting. I wouldn't mind trying them. It's just, you know, they're they're a little bit too based on luck for my taste. Cause... Yeah, basically. You have to open up one of six cards or you're probably going to lose. Yeah, that's what I don't like, you know. They're too reliant on opening up those those, uh, those spell cards to get you set up. Or, well, you or need to open play. up either the spell card or you have to open up the level one guy. Mm-hmm. So. One what sec. happened to my other box of uh, bags? A green and yellow box. Garbage bags. Not there sure. Boxes. There were two boxes here when I left. I'm not sure. I know I used some of them to take out the trash, but I'm not sure where the rest of them would be. Hey, what were they talking about? Uh, Cardians and the level of professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, professionalism seems to not be my strong point. He's actually running this guy. Ooh, okay. Actually running. Okay, the... so now he gets to send a uh, Phantom Knight from his hand to the grave to draw a card. Okay, that's not a terrible effect. I see you. I know the Zeef uh, speaks highly of this card. Okay. Go ahead and send something. Okay. He's just burning through those resources right now. I don't know. Cloak can search for itself. He c it can't. Oh. Um. 
should we intervene or we just no 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 i, I don't care look uh, look at that person's experience i'm not saying shit <laughs> i think you realized it mm-hmm Nope. Or not. Nope, I'm summoned. Hit him up with the with the fairies. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm summoned okay. cloak. Well, I guess they're gonna completely oh. ignore that he searched an illegal card. Yep, he just did cloak on cloak. So, Alright. Did you fix it? I'm recording. Go upstairs. Like are we seriously ignoring <laughs> that he Well the game state is now completely broken, so Okay, so, how did that, uh, didn't he normal summon that ancient cloak? Here it is. Oh. Right? He normal summoned that ancient cloak, right? How did it get to defense mode? Use its effect on itself. Oh, I didn't even know it had that effect. <laughs> That's because it's normally never relevant, because this is the real life and not the, uh, anime. I'm pretty sure in the end, mate, it's been used to game a few people. Uh, yeah, I didn't even knew Cluck had that effect. Oh, well, alright. <laughs> it uses that effect. He's just gonna take that neg one to kill the dark hole. Okay. So, maybe going off this turn? I assumed that you had another tin can. Alright. Summon tin can, set to, and proceed to rape your opponent. That's That's the name of the game. Possibly. And then pay my Dark Lady, Dark Destroyer, and Eclipser if you're running it. Eclipser wouldn't be too terrible. I think Eclipser has maybe run his usefulness out because his opponent doesn't have any back row. I mean, it can still negate the trap cards in the graveyard. No, it can't. Yeah, it can. It can't. Really? It cannot negate a uh, trap card that's not its initial activation. Oh, I did not know that. And I was cheating all up in that reading because I was hella negating trap cards in the graveyard. Let me guess, you were trying to negate the Prime Monarch mainly? No, I only faced one, one, uh, one, uh, it was mostly just the, the, the trap cards for Phantom Knights. Uh, well, do you want me to give you a link so you know that I'm not lying? No, no, I believe you. Interesting. All right. I just cheated up in that regional, who cares? Well, I'm sure the people who uh, got their butt kicked might care a little bit now. No, who cares about them? <laughs> <laughs> so cruel. Okay, so I guess not as good as I thought it was. I, I guess... mean, it's, it's still pretty good, just can't negate, you know, trap card effects in the graveyard. Mm. That hurts a little bit, that's actually one of the best things about well, what I thought about Dark Eclipse is the fact that you could that well I thought that you could do that. Alright. Okay, what's he chaining? Okay, he's gonna chain the call to haunt so the opponent only gets one draw and then his opponent's gonna take fifty four hundred points of damage. Yep. I think we all know who's about in I think we all know who's about to win this duel. Mm-hmm. You know, unless... Is real. Unless Sky has an unknown rank 3 Abyss Dweller and a Regeki in his hand. <laughs> That'd be nice. Mm. You ever notice how rank 9s have the most useless monsters in the game outside of, like, 1? Like, you mean, like, level monsters that are level 9 to go into rank 9s, or just the rank 9 in general? The rank 9 pool is almost completely worthless. I mean, I can only really think of, like, one good rank 9. There's, like, there's only, like, um, seven rank 9 monsters, and of them, only two of them you can even attempt to use without using rank up magic, and of those two, well... Only, like, one of them is really any good, and the other one is only good if you're using a... What's the word I'm looking for? If you're, lo if you're using an FTK deck, that's the only time it's good. The only one I can think of is Enterprise. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Mecha Phantom Beast uh, that's rank 9, Yeah. and then there's a number monster that's rank 9, number 9 to be exact. Is that, like, Dyson Sphere or something? 
Uh, number nine is actually, yeah, no, Dice Spear. He's actually not a bad monster, and I think that if he was, like, a rank eight or a rank, like, even if he was a rank one, or actually, if he was any rank outside of nine, I think he'd actually be seeing a little bit of play just because, well, one, his rank up for him is godly. Mm-hmm. But then you gotta play rank ups. <laughs> well, yeah, but, I mean... Keep in mind, the rank up form does have the ability to deal over 4,000 damage upon its first summon. But you still gotta play rank ups. There's no denying that some rank up monsters are really powerful, but then you gotta play rank up spells, and some people don't want to touch those with a, a 20 foot pole. Not everybody is Omega Chaos, so. <laughs> I'm scared to ask, but what does Omega Chaos do? Omega Chaos loves rank up. Like, Omega Chaos's favorite mechanic is the XC mechanic, and loves to do rank up in a lot of decks. So. Uh, what's what's your favorite mechanic? Probably synchro. No, no, probably XC. Uh, mine uh, I like is... the flexibility. I hate pendulums. Pendulums give you a fat dick. <laughs> Fair enough. My favorite mechanic is probably gonna have to be the fusion mechanic, just because most of my favorite monsters are fusion, and I like how versatile how, how versatile fusion decks can be. Especially nowadays with like fusion recovery, a million different ways to search and use poly. You have uh, a fell and trap that allow you just to search out a fusion material monster and add a poly. It's just a lot of versatility with them. So, although I will admit some of their effects could be better. Like, I mean, Lunalites are okay and all, but their fusion monsters could be a little bit better. Yeah. Also, we're going to see uh, F-Zero over here. Probably going to steal the... Actually, there really is no beneficial way to abuse this monster right now. Because mm -hmm. even if you destroy it, if you take the Dark Destroyer to get rid of the Walker... Okay, he's just going to use it as a defensive wall. That's probably his best option right now. Okay. And he's going to do Anti-Spell Fragrance and hope his opponent doesn't have a Quick Place Spell card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take a little bit slower, and uh, it's just interesting that Sky is so on the defensive right now. I'm trying to wondering what's going to be the end result of this not, of this duel right now. If we're going to take it to game three, or if player just locked down too much. I mean, the resources are definitely in Sky's court, but PK Fire has always kind of had a hard time against uh, against Cosmos if you're not doing anything with the um, with Hope. To be honest, I really don't know how PK Fire works. Like, I honestly tried learning the deck, but it's just one of those decks that I just don't care for and just didn't bother using, to be honest. I mean, it's you're pretty much just using the powerful effects of the Phantom Knights, both in on the field and in Grave, along with the trap cards, using Dante not for himself, really, but more for uh, uh, milling, you know? Like, we haven't seen any Burning Abyss, but did we see Dante? Yeah, we saw Dante. What did he do? He milled, so... And I said Dante is getting to the point where he, he's not really the boss monster of Burning Abyss, but just a accessible card trooper in the extra deck. And then the right yeah, hands base. can be a little bit broken, so. And so I would not be surprised if we see Dante hit on the next list. One of those weird, we have like three different, um, what's the one I'm looking for? We have three different uh, card troopers that are in your extra deck right now. Mm-hmm. And somehow card trooper is still at two. Uh, to troop dip scoop. I'm aware of the deck, but I don't think it would be meta if Car Trooper went to free. Like nobody's playing it at two. Why would you play it if it went to free? I'm aware of I the think machine. That, really, I just think Konami's being too cautious because I think I think OCG has three Car Trooper. It probably does. Yeah, Let me I, think. Believe, I believe they do. I don't know. I don't know the OCG. I'm I focus predominantly on the TCG. I just. Make sure I'm aware of what the OCG archetypes do, so when and if they come to the, the TCG, I'm not spending like a week trying to learn whatever the deck is. I mean, Cyber Angels are doing nice. <laughs> That's a nice deck. Wait, wait, Cyber Angels actually did something in the OCG? I thought they would just say deck that the TCG is calling the new Necros. I mean, they're calling the new Necros, but I can't give them that. They're not that strong. Well, I think it's supposed to be a joke just because they're a ritual deck that actually has a lot of searchability. That's fine. I mean, you gotta, you gotta give that to the ritual mechanic to make him half decent. 
Sadly, yeah. Give them but search when and you go over refill the resources. Yeah, yeah but when you go overboard, then you get necro. So. Oh, your fans Whenever you get anything too much re when you get anything too much search power, you get stuff like a uh, Draco Pals, Necros. Insert a random deck here that searches a lot. Mm-hmm. Here's I can't think of any other deck that searches a lot and was really really powerful. Good mm. call the hunt and some like uh, that dark lady. All right. Okay, so now it looks like Sky is starting to get a little bit on the advantage. Okay, go ahead and drop that maxi. Okay. He has resolved like two or three maxis this game, I think. Yeah. And he's and he's still struggling here. Mm -hmm. Also, does uh does Utopic Future tr activate? I forget. I believe it activates, but I don't think it targets. But you would know more about rollings than me, so. Well, I gotta read it before I before I say that. Uh uh, let's, let's try and see. Huh. I don't think I don't think it. Uh... Let me quickly double check. I think it does, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Plus, I'm pretty sure they're about to have a fight about it. Mhm. Mm Wouldn't be the first time today I've seen fights over random cards. And off the top of my mind, I think that's it. I think it activates, but I don't think it targets. One sec, I know. Just so you know, no, it doesn't target. Um. Hmm. And also, to? the effect is negated, but it won't die. So, yeah. isn't it protected by wings, or did he, it, or did he protect it's itself with? Uh... It's, pro it's protected by wings, but I think his opponent just forgot it. Oh, okay. Also, why to die? Oh wait, that was that was that a was crash dark with break destroyer and dark destroyer. So you can. I would have just, I would have just ran over the dark lady, and then I would have attacked with utopic future. It, I think he attacked the Topic Fuser and activated his effect, but it was negated, so he didn't die, but he doesn't get the tank, so... I think Topic Fuser still declared the attack. Yeah, but he can't activate Fog Blade because it's a damage step. Yeah, that's during the damage step. Mm-hmm. Yay, this guy actually knows his rulings. You'd be amazed how rare that actually is. <laughs> Like, for example, almost half of my games, people try to summon Utopic Future or Beatrice when they use uh, Break Sword's Graveyard Effect, which they're not allowed to do if you don't know about. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so now you got a 3,500 beat stick that gains 1,200 to become 4,900. I hope my math is correct, because uh, everyone, knows, everyone knows math is not the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist's strongest point. 37. I mean, no, 4,700. Right, because it's 25 plus the 1,000 that you got from uh, gloves, 35. Cut 12, cut 24 and a half, that's 12, plus 12, 47. Why'd you get all caught it? <laughs> you like typing in a calculator? Who, me? Yeah, like you got all quiet all of a sudden. No, that time I was talking, yeah, actually I'm not going to finish that sentence. Oh, did you have your mic muted? You were talking to someone? No, not that. I'll I'll tell you later. I don't. Oh, don't... okay. You don't want to tell all YouTube your business. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Sky is not in a terrible position right now. Sky, I think he actually might with his opponent top decks at Cosmojo, in which case he can get out of this immediately. <laughs> Also, is he going to make the same mistake? No, he's not. But I mean, Cosmo Landwalker is just going to blow up the Slip Rider to protect the Dark Lady, probably. Because, I mean, he actually seems to know what he's doing, unlike Sky, who made a few misplays here and there. Mm-hmm. So, you're going to have... 
Okay, take the damage, probably kill the Slip Rider. Yep. yep. Okay, so Platras here is actually a good Cosmo player. Landwalker's putting in that work. Yeah, Landwalker is either really, really good or it just does absolutely nothing. It all depends on, you know, on the current game state. I run one in mind just because, you know, times like this, your opponent has to get rid of the Landwalker before they can answer the actual threat that they want to, you know, answer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Be activating the fog blade on Lady. Yes, uh, I guess yeah, I guess that works. Probably gonna attack I mean he's gonna attack the landwalker, steal it, and then use landwalker to run over Dark Lady, right? Probably. But then you can't select Dark Lady as an attack target, right? Oh right. So, yeah, that's not oh Cosmo Joe. Ouch. Okay, so Sky loses now, I think. Yeah, because that, that, that's just... Mm. <laughs> so, uh, GG, no re? I'm confused. What happened? Did somebody negate it? I'm what confused. Happened? What I'm confused. happened to Cosmojo? Why was it destroyed? What do you mean, destroy Cosmojo? Target a Cosmo monster. I am very confused. They're like, does he actually think that Utopic Future can kill something? So wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he's going to activate Cosmojo, target a Cosmo monster you control. So he's going to target, I guess, Landwalker, and then if a Cosmo card or cards oh, be destroyed, so now. he's going to reflect it back at the Cosmojo itself. To banish? Yeah, that's what he's doing, but I don't think that works, does it? It just yeah, says me... target the Cosmo monsters. It also says then if you destroy it and if you do. So I think it actually has to destroy the Cosmo monster. Destroy it and if you do. Because I don't think he destroyed the Cosmo monster. Yeah, if you it... do, banish one card from control. But he didn't destroy the Cosmo monster, so I don't think he can resolve the second effect until the first effect yeah. is resolved. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, I can't be the only one thinking that. I mean, someone will probably tell us in the comment section. Like I said, it's not our problem. I'm not going to get my hands dirty. Me neither. I'm just going to quickly double-check. I actually have several rulings about this. I, uh, in my favorites. Cosmo, Joe, and Landwalker, I guess? Well, not that particular combo of those two, but... You know what I mean. I have, I have very similar wording situations saved. It's not the exact situation, but at the very least, it will... Let me see if I'm actually right where he can't actually do that combo. Hmm. I'm going to Levier and uh, have Darkly to negate the Levier. Because, I mean, if he actually did that, that means that Patarius, I mean, he probably would still win because he would just let his monster get destroyed instead. So that means that he has an illegal monster on the field. And then Sky can say you only won because you cheated as his excuse for losing. <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and pay the cost of Dark Lady, then banish the Dark Lady, which means that it escapes from the clutches of the Fog Blade and therefore negates the, the Levier. Fog Blade is also gone. Okay, I see you. Fog Blade is nice and all, but it's not the greatest of cards against uh, Cosmos. So. Is there really any good cards against Cosmo? Arthur and Wall or Rivalry of the Warlords? Mm -hmm. I guess number 39, the Lightning, is a good card. Mm. Uh, Sky is just getting blown out blown here. Blown out. I love your Sea Dragon's negate and destroyed. That Fog Blade's not attached to anything. Oh, okay. So, it's a long chain. <laughs> that is okay, a... I'm reading. I'm quickly reading my paper real quick. I'm sorry if I'm silent for a quick moment. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Because if you can do that play, that's an interesting play. Go ahead and reflect the 
the Cosmo drove back at itself with Walker. Okay, that's actually a legal play because it, because it doesn't destroy until resolution. Okay. Apparently, according to my paper, I'm confused on it, but uh, but yeah, it it resolves that way. Okay, interesting, interesting. Cool, cool. I have nothing to say about that. Cool. So if you weren't running a walker before, that's that should be incentive right there enough to run a walker. Check. I'm gonna quickly double check on another source because. That doesn't make sense to me. I want to double check, and I have plus I got like a hundred thousand rolling papers. So, Carter is doing really well. I mean, really well for not having a uh, Cosmo Joe. I mean, a Cosmo Town on the field, the entire freaking duel. Well, you don't need Cosmo Cosmo Town. It just makes it so you kill your opponent quicker. Uh. Is it 37? I could have swore I got the boost from uh, uh, Gloves, because I don't believe Gloves used this effect that turn that it was summoned. Because Burke Sword already got the boost, and then it lasted on the field to the next turn, right? Okay, I found, I just double-checked it, and I was right. You don't get to banish. Hmm. Okay, I thought that something was weird with that answer. Okay, so it's, and if you do, which he didn't, so there's no banish. Yeah, I just had to quickly double check it. I was ninety nine percent sure you had to destroy in order to banish. Yep, so the no cosmos. Because of problem you got a problem solving card tax, I was ninety nine percent sure of that. And according to my papers, also I'm gonna quickly burn this one. Well not burn it, but I'm gonna delete the one that said you could because I don't wanna give an incorrect ruling. There we go. It's gone. My sanity is now safe. Ooh. Let's see with two dark destroyers. Oh god, he's playing a similar build to what I'm playing. <laughs> I run one number sixty two just in case of the off chance my opponent actually has an XC monster on the field in attack mode that's not Dante. Don't oh, warn. Well Dante or Beatrice, because those tend those tend to be the two that around the field the most these days unless my opponent leaves like a Stella on the field for some unknown reason and why would you be summoning Castell against Cosmo in the first place unless you really need to give it a Cosmo town I saw him warning that was super crutch I don't know if it was super crutch I mean he's only at 600 like points and Cosmos can deal 6,000 damage in one attack so he's still in a really bad situation oh he wins is that game? You know, I hits game unless he has a response to the summon or, these, or to the effect. I mean, he's got a set card. There's, there's something there. It's gonna if be... it's Solemn Strike, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> look oh, at his game. Okay, so Sky actually manages to win. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess we'll get game three, and I guess the Thursday's Dando commentary will be shorter because we're already 38 minutes in. So, But I want to I I see the end result of this match. Just because PK Fire is actually fighting Cosmo and not immediately dying? I can't even say it's PK Fire. I have to just say it's just Phantom Knights. I haven't seen any Burning Abyss besides Dante. Hmm, pure B PK Fire. The fire part of PK Fire is the Burning Abyss, but I haven't seen any Burning Abyss. I'm Sorry, I'm, I'm so used to PK Fire, it's not funny anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, we'll pause and they'll come when they come back. All right, people, we got game three. So we got uh, Sword Troopers turning into Dark Lady, dropping that Max C. So once again, Sky. It's already. <laughs> yep, already. Already a minus one. Well, I guess it's not a minus one because Dark Lady is still fairly decent against uh, against PK. Uh, against. Well, yeah, I mean, no matter how you look at it, it's a nag. No matter how good Dark Lady is, I mean, it's still a nag. And now he's gonna take that that uh, second minus of losing whatever the. Ooh. Yeah, get rid of that Cosmo Joe, and uh, just proceed to do some plays. So. Okay, but does anything in the Phantom Knights uh, arsenal have enough attack power to punch over a 
a Dark Lady without using an effect, because if using an effect, Dark Lady will just negate and destroy whatever you're trying to I use. I don't believe so, and I know it activates when he uh, goes into Ixie, so if he goes in like Break Sword, it will, he can respond and negate. No, I guess he's just gonna allow him to take the neck on the Max C, and to drop the Max C, because now he's gonna special summon boots and then go into like Break Sword, and draw, and then negate with Dark Lady, but I guess not. Yep, there we go. We're just gonna target the Dark Lady. I would have targeted my own monster. That way I, you know, would have a monster on the field that wouldn't be able to be attacked, and my opponent would have to, like, tribute summon for a Slip Rider or have another ship and banish it for Slip Rider. I guess he wanted to go ahead and n not only stop the attack of uh, Dark Lady, but also negate its effect as well. But, uh, Interestingly, he's gonna blow up his own Dark Destroyer, so... I guess it's not interesting, Lee. That's kind of a normal play. Okay. Coming out the farm girl, and that means that this that a uh, sky is about to take heavy amounts of damage. Yeah. Wonder if he can actually end this duel. That really depends on what's in the hand. He can't end a duel with just with just those cards unless he has Jared Ghetto. Mm -hmm. yeah. If he has Jared Ghetto, then he can end a duel with this with this with uh, just free cards. So there is. Uh... As... Like, you'd have to have, uh, I don't know, I know there's a combo that you can use Jared Ghetto to OTK 8,000 damage with just three or four cards in Cosmo. So, does the Frog Blade stay? Uh, yes, because the monster was removed before it was destroyed. It's basically the same as Phoenix Chain, so. Oh, okay. I thought it was like when the monster's removed from the field. Well, even if it was, it was never successfully resolved anyway, okay. so. And player. Player opened up well and is doing some great plays right now. Also, I gotta remember after this, I gotta quickly update the few decks that I kept on Dev Pro. Like, most of them got destroyed when uh, they started moving around the data, and I have, like, like maybe a dozen decks that didn't get completely destroyed that are still worth using. I guess I could also use Tune Ruler, but I don't don't think that uh, rank seven tunes gonna do anything. Ah, oh, oh, so now now you say something. Let's do it. You didn't say shit. Let's do it. Okay, so I guess he knew and just didn't care because he was winning. Um. All right. You want to respond to it? You want to do something on summon? Before he drops that uh them boots and starts doing plays like that, it was a good. Well, duel. if he has dark, do dark destroyer blow up the monster immediately and then he can't summon boots. Yep. And I believe he already activated gloves this turn to send cloak. So. And I don't believe there's any trap cards in the game. Nope, that is it. That is it, people. I'd like to get some a hot dog. Two or three up the pew. I mean. Sorry about that. I mean, okay. the duel's over anyway. <laughs> Okay, so Sky was defeated by the power of Cosmo, so yeah. GG, you definitely did well. Yeah, that was a good match. It really was. That was a good match. So uh, they... I think we sh I think I should PM Sky to let him know that that the uh, Cosmojo play was illegal, or just let I mean, him they both find they both did his... illegal plays. I mean, he has over a thousand, I mean, ten thousand experience, so they both they yeah, both just... cheated in their own ways. Oh well, I mean, it's not like it would change anything. He still won the duel, so. Yeah, I know. I just want to let them know that it was an illegal play so that at least. Yeah, one I mean, of it'd be them... helpful. If you want to go ahead and message Sky, I'll power to you. Yeah. Anyway, um, dinner is going to be ready real shortly. So if we're going to be doing the the uh, Deb Pro tags, can it wait till after dinner? That's fine. You could probably could have said that after I ended the video, but. Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Dando Commentary. Thank you, Alexis, for joining me. Anytime. A uh, link to her channel is in the descriptions. Go ahead and check out her content. She's been doing a lot lately, so uh, the least you guys can do is go ahead and head over there, uh, join her live streams, check out her videos that she uploads. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.